All right, now in the last 48 hours, if there is a controversy that's been raging across the length and breadth of India, it has been about a potential name change for the nation known as India that is Bharat according to the Indian constitution. And in the latest development, no less than the Indian Prime Minister has himself joined this very interesting discussion. Now the Indian Prime Minister has asked his ministers to completely stay away from the debate over the possible renaming of the country. Do not comment, reportedly, are his words, and this is according to sources. Now remember, it's been 48 long hours ever since the India-Bharat debate has taken the nation in a very big way. It was triggered after an official G20 invite that was sent by the government where the designation of the President of the Republic of India, Draupadi Murmu, was designated as the President of Bharat instead of the traditional nomenclature that was used in the past as the President of the Republic of India. Now the government for its part has been defending its move as a step it, it claims that this is something that it wants to do as a part of the decolonializing effort that it is going around with, that it wants to leave behind the colonial mindset. And now it says that India is a name that probably has remnants of certain colonial aspects because this was a name that was given to India by uh, the foreigners and Bharat is the more traditional Indian way of, in fact, addressing the nation. But the opposition has accused the government of distorting history and of dividing the people of India. Now remember, the, this is not even a debate because the very first line of the Indian constitution puts this debate to rest. The Indian constitution says, India that is Bharat shall be a union of states. So there can be no controversy about this. Now the opposition so far has held two meetings to counter this interesting bit of a narrative that is now coming forth. The government is set to convene a special session of the Indian Parliament on the 18th till the 22nd of September. It is not clear as to what the government's agenda is in calling this special session of the Parliament. Now, the opposition has been trying to corner the government over this. The opposition says that the reason why the government wants to not use the name India is because the opposition alliance is called India and therefore the government feels rattled that it has to take on the India alliance, which the opposition claims is unbeatable. Now, earlier, the major opposition party, the Indian National Congress leader, Sonia Gandhi, had written a letter to the Prime Minister asking him about the agenda of the session. She has highlighted as to how no other political party has been consulted over the agenda or even about convening the special session of the parliament. The government is trying to defend itself. The Prahlad Joshi, the former uh, has, has in fact come forth and said uh, that Sonia Gandhi is trying to create unnecessary controversies regarding the parliament session, which is not reasonable. He further stated that it is the constitutional right of the government of India to conduct parliamentary sessions, special parliamentary sessions, while at the same time has also urged the opposition parties to cooperate in protecting the dignity and respect of the Indian constitution. But the fact is, the government needs to be more forthcoming and needs to tell people as to why it wants this special session that it has convened, because the government so far has not told us anything about what the agenda or the purpose of this special session of the constitution actually is. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.